Now these, I would put these, if I would give a 10, I mean rate them from zero out of 10. <sighs> these are a nine out of 10. These are nine out of 10. Why I say nine out of 10 is not because the shoe, it's because the peace be the journey. The journey for these was not peaceful. Peace be the journey. Now, why am I stressing? Peace be the, why am I stressing? Peace be the journey. It's just the wait for this, the wait, <clears throat> the whole actual journey to get this pair. Now, I'm just give you a quick story. So, 10 o'clock, my cousin Nick, Bugs, and Alexis. So we go to the um the New Balance store. So we get there, and there's already a lot of people there. And I mean, you got people that already camped out before the before the close eat before the store even closed. Some guy was there. He was there since six o'clock, and the store closes at eight. So he he been camping out, and he was the first one. So I'm like, all right. So we we it's 25 spots, I think. It's so it's four of us. So I it, we was from 17 to I uh, no 18 or 14 that's how, that was our spots and it was just so weird because I was told by people was already here and then that they was here and then the employees took a picture of them they left and they said come back when you want to come come back at eight o'clock when when we're about to open the store so okay but think about it say you go to to get a sneaker you camp out and you see a free spot you're order you're automatically thinking I right, I'm here, so when the store opens, now I'm a, I, I've been here. Everything went out the window when when she told people to come back at eight o'clock. Cause you're 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 camping out. You're in the cold. You're in the and actually I got sick. I got sick the day that when I got when I got um the sneaker. I got sick. I was, but I got the sneaker though. So it would have been I would have been even more mad if I didn't get the sneaker. And I got actually no, I'm lying to you guys. I didn't get the sneaker. I had to pay two hundred for this. It retails for I think one fifty or one sixty. So I gave him two hundred for this. I mean, I paid. I paid a little, a little fee for him giving it to me. He didn't really want it. He just came for the experience. So we camping out, camping out, and it's just not fair to the people who's camping out and is actually camping and like risking their health because it was cold that day for a pair of sneaker. And you home in your comfort and your heat eating. And you come at eight o'clock and you like, nah, um, this is my spot. No, it's none of that. We was here this whole night. What you mean is your spot? Like, I don't care what, uh, I don't care what an employee told you. What it says on that wall, cause it had the rules and regulations of what you had to follow on, on top of the, um, on the wall. I mean, on the, um, the window of the store, it said, can't move your spot. You're being recorded. Um, if you lose, if you move, you lose your spot automatically. Um, stay on the spot all night. Da, da, da. So we did. We did. We followed all the rules and regulations. And I don't get how we followed all the rules and regulations. And when it was time for opening, it went out the window. It went out the window. Like, like I don't know who made them rules, but it just whew, we gonna do something different again. That went out the window. So I right, eight o'clock comes. They come start. Um, stay open the door. So you know. We want them like roaches. We come on. We trying to get our sneaker. We been here, so they start giving their sneakers out about eight thirty. They letting people go, but then again, why I say, but when I when I said everything went out the window, the whole camping out, the whole staying on your spot, it's just forget about it. We ain't even gonna do that. So what they did was, oh, if you was here at six o'clock or eight o'clock, and we took a picture of you standing in the front of the line, so my group is like. Oh, hell no. Like, what are you talking about? Like, we've been here since 10 o'clock. It's 8 something. And you mean to tell me we got to get in the back of the line? And mind you, it was probably already about 14, 15 people who came before and got their pictures taken. And then plus the people that's already in front of us. And it was only 30 pairs. It was only 30 pairs. Mind you, it was limited pairs. So it wasn't like it was like a GR release. Oh, they got like 100. Nah, it was only 30 pairs. And it was about more than 30 people already there. So we like, whoa, if there's already 14 people that, that um, took pictures and all that, and then there's already um, 13 people ahead of us, there's no room for us. It's only probably only two people out of group could get, could get pairs, maybe. So cops come, you know, regular cops come. So then they want order. I'm like, okay, okay. 
I understand that. We, we, we do need some order because it was chaotic. It was, it was real chaotic. So, I'm on order. And um, the NY, I ain't gonna lie, the NYPD that day, <laughs> I felt free. I felt free. They was talking to them crazy, hand in their face. I'm like, yo, they like, we need order. And it's crazy because the people who follow, this is how you know you can't do nothing good and still get a good outcome. The people who didn't follow the rules was rowdy. Everybody who did right was calm, cool, and collected. But the police was giving us problems as if we were doing something wrong. Shorty is like, the sheriff is like, oh, I need a line. We, we telling her, the, the manager just said, if you camped out, come over here. He's calling out and she's like, no, I don't care what he said. I need a line. Sis, what are you doing? You trying to tell son how to do his job? He works and he is the manager. What are you doing? Like, you, you bugging. So she was telling him what to do. I was, I was, but me, I was firm on what I was doing. I was not moving. I'm here. Ten toes down. I ain't moving. I ain't move. So, so she like, I need order. I need order. We like, nah, we can't give you order. So then they, they, they changed it. I, and I didn't get this first. They let the first six people go in that were camped out to get their sneakers. Then they let a couple of more, like, in total, they let about like 12 to like 15 people get their sneakers. So it's a, now it's, a, it's left, 15 pairs left. And then they cut it off. They was like, nah, we're going to do a raffle. A raffle. Now, nah, oh my gosh. And why I'm mad is because I camped out. And now you're going to tell us you're going to do a raffle when you could have just did a raffle in the beginning. So they're like, all right, let's do, um, let's do raffles. Okay, write your name and your number and your email. So I'm like, all right, write my name and my number and email. They like, all right, let's raffle pairs. You got people who never, who never stood, like, who never even knew about the sneaker. You had people who didn't know about the sneaker. You had people who didn't camp out. You, because when it's a raffle, everybody could join. So now you got people who don't know about the sneaker. You just had, you had randoms literally walking up, writing their names, putting their emails and numbers, and then giving it back for a raffle. You had construction workers doing that. You had randoms. You had a police. I was just, oh my gosh. So I'm like, and this is crazy because like, we really did everything that they asked and it was still a problem at the end. So boom, so we do the raffles. So 30 minutes from 45 minutes, everything, everything just, it dies down. So I go on a call, we go on a call, we just chilling cause we, we real mad, we real mad. It's just cause we did everything and like, it was still a problem. It just shows that, like it's crazy. Like reselling, I'm telling y'all, reselling is not all peaches and cream. It's not just, oh, I won, I could get my sneakers. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta really be on, on your, on your arms, you feel me? Like you gotta really be on that type of time and like, it's, it's not, not always, oh, I got my sneaker, I'm about to flip this. Nah, you really got to, you got to be ruthless. You got ruthless. Because it was a lot of people that was ruthless there. I think some of them was acting. They came, it was like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Son going to come, pull out, pull up in the car with his man. He like, who was the first six that was in front of me? Everybody, everybody quiet. So I'm like, hmm? He like, who the first six? He like, I'm talking to y'all. I'm like, oh. I'm like, who you talking to? So he like, yeah, I'm talking to y'all. He was like, you was the first six. He was like, all right. He was like, I bet. So when the store opened, just remember, y'all was y'all was ahead of me. He was like, oh, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a movie. Movie. <laughs> he ain't say that. He said y'all niggas in the front. I'm I'm in front of y'all niggas. Oh, he said y'all. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? You heard what he said? You, see, look, my cousin's behind the camera. He was with me. He was with me. So he. That's what he said? Yeah. That nigga oh. said, I was here before all of y'all niggas. The first six? The, the first six. I thought he said, y'all first six is in front of me. Nah, he said, y'all niggas behind me. And when I come back, y'all niggas better know what's up or it's going to be a move. <laughs> oh, why? Right. And, and it walked off. And walked off. This clown, hold up. This clown, first of all, you, you heard what he said. So, intimidation, ain't nobody really scared over some New Balance. Like, you gotta think about it at the end of the day, like, some new balances. But it's gonna be a movie over some new balances. You gotta, like, come on, man. Like, you gotta come. There's certain things that just, new balances, bro? Come on, man. But this, he's a clown, because you know why? The store opens at 10. The store opens at 10. 
But then they started letting pairs at 8.30. You know what time this clown came in? 11.40, 12. So you, you, what are you doing, bro? How you gonna say it's gonna be a movie and you don't even show up to the movie on time? You a clown, you just clown, intimidating. He wasn't ready about it. The nigga missed the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he missed the movie. He missed the movie, like, come on. He missed the movie. I, and and then, it's right though, cause I stayed, and you know what? I got my pair, you got your pair, we got our pair, so we we, we ain't we ain't worrying about none. So they call out names, call out names, and <laughs> it was funny because they caught on. So they call out names, boom, they call out names, call out names, three names, same they called, called your name, right? That was first. Oh yeah, so they so they call out Nick. So he like, ah, right. we like, yeah, yeah, he got his pair. Boom. They call Boogie. So then they call out Boogie. <laughs> so Boogie like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So then, so then the resellers. They caught on. So we like, oh, oh, they caught on, they caught on. So then it was like, so then it was like, nah, 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 you cheating, you cheating. Do the raffle in front of us. Damn. So he had to do the raffle in front of us, doing nah, handpicks, handpicks. Didn't the cop fuck it up? He did? The, the female, she came back. Oh. <laughs> then, the, oh yeah, because the cops left, right? And they came back. Sure, they're going to be like, I need a lawn. And it's crazy because at that time, Every, even though everybody was mad at each other because you got people who was trying to like snake, cheat the system, say they was here when they wasn't. Everybody was getting along. Everybody's like, um, it was, it was like an auction. Like they call the names out, one, two, three, next. Like everybody was laughing with each other. And you got this cop to come in. And she's a real, she was real anal about how she wanted. Need a line, need a line, and you just like come on, and that just messed up everything. Like it literally messed up everything. So everybody wanted to fight again. Yeah, everybody wanted to fight again. It was just crazy. So they call names and they call Alexis. So Alexis got her pair. They didn't call my name. <laughs> I was mad because I really think I really think that they would have called my name if nobody called on or if Shorty didn't come and ask. I need a line. So they called Alexis. All right, man. So after a long night, a long day, dealing dealing with ignorance. No. You you got it? I'm about to see right now. Oh wait, we live cop? We, we don't get that. We, yeah. we don't never get that. Live cop? Nope. Niggas ain't got that. Live cop? Please be good to me. Please be good to me. No. Oh, wait. Shit. No. Wait. No. Fuck. <laughs> this one she just does me every time. I get so hyped. But yeah, after a long day, long night, we we was able to secure pairs. Pairs, nah, I mean, I need that six. The cash cow, the money makers. I need that six. The stuff that pay your rent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know my shit is crazy. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, uh, That's how it went down. Peace wasn't the journey, but the journey was hilarious. I'll tell you that. So Salihi Bimberry, if you watching this, just know this this is what happened downtown in New York City at the New Balance store. All right, YouTube, and that's the end of the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on IG at The Schmitty Show and subscribe to me on YouTube at The Schmitty Show. I'm out.